Abandoned by their employer, forgotten by government authorities, these are the forlorn faces of Dubai's tough economic times. Their camp in the dusty back blocks of the neighbouring Emirate of Sharjah has had no electricity for two months. The 38 men from Pakistan and Bangladesh have barely enough food to survive and haven't received their $220 per month wage for 10 months. And now you use this area for cooking? Yes, we can. The owner of the camp also hasn't been paid and has told them they'll be evicted on Sunday. Our families are starving back home, but when we have nothing to eat, how can we send anything back home to our families? They keep telling us to just come home, but we're stuck here. Staying alive with no electricity in a desert where temperatures reach 50 degrees Celsius is no easy feat. At night time, they abandon their cramped rooms to sleep on mattresses on the roof, where the evening air is a little cooler. Anyone who's ever visited this region during summer would have some small idea of just how desperate this situation is. But for these workers, there is one worse fate than this, heading home without their unpaid wages, which would mean the last 10 months they've spent slaving away on construction sites would have all been for nothing. I have a dog, I wouldn't treat my animal that way, the way human beings treat these other human beings. These men did not come here to beg, they came here to work very hard, to work very honestly to support their families back home. Sahir Sheikh is a British Pakistani mother of two who spent the past four years providing food and medicine to the more than one million mostly South Asian construction workers building the United Arab Emirates. These workers say their Indian employer, Joseph Sundaramani, fled the country in February, but the UAE's labour laws prevents them leaving without their employer's permission. Despite registering their abandoned status in a court in March, they've made no progress other than to receive new passports to replace those they claim were destroyed by their employer. You can't treat the men in a fair way. Sure, your company's going down under, that's understandable. It's very sad for you too, for the company too, but, but you could at least send the men home, give them their ticket home. It doesn't cost much. I would like to say at the outset that these are limited cases and there is no such phenomenon. The total number affected is a few hundred workers out of 1.9 million in total in the construction industry. There are about 50,000 companies in this sector. There is no such phenomenon. Another camp nearby housing 400 abandoned workers has received better news. These men are thankful for Sahir Sheikh's efforts to get their passports returned, as well as a plane ticket home and $1,000 in unpaid wages, courtesy of UAE's Labour Ministry. But Abdul Malik does not want to fly home to Bangladesh, as he still owes more than $2,000 to the loan sharks who financed his trip here. My family has no money, he tells me. If I go home, I'll get beaten up or the loan sharks might sell my two daughters as payment. I have to stay here. Remarkably, most of these abandoned workers plan to return, hoping a different employer will deliver on that tantalizing dream of a better life. Dan Nolan, Al Jazeera, Sharjah in the United Arab Emirates.